Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt. Today, One Ounce Wednesday. On One Ounce Wednesday, I take a blind sample out of this box behind me, I pour it in the glass, completely blind, have no idea what it is. I swirl it, I nose it, I taste it, I review it, I score it, and it usually takes probably about seven minutes. Before we get into this One Ounce Wednesday, let's first talk about today's video sponsor. Today's video is once again brought to us by our great friends over at Zbiotics. Zbiotics is the world's very first pre-alcohol probiotic drink. What's a pre-alcohol probiotic drink, you may ask? Super good question. A pre-alcohol probiotic drink looks like this. You just give it a shake and give it a drink. And after you drink your Zbiotics, you can go ahead and enjoy some alcoholic drinks. And the next morning when you wake up, you're gonna feel great. You're gonna feel like, why didn't I start drinking Zbiotics sooner? Zbiotics is proudly genetically modified by scientists who do science stuff, and they figured out a way for Zbiotics to start doing things in your body to break down the toxic byproduct of alcohol before it even gets to your liver. So that when you wake up the morning after drinking, you can deliver. Zbiotics also has a 100% money back guarantee, so if it doesn't work for you, you get your money back. Click on my link in the description below, go to zbiotics.com slash ADHD, use code ADHD at checkout, and you'll save 15% off your first box of Zbiotics. Got myself a clean glass, now let's grab a pour and give it a score. Whew. Got one? America? Into the glass it goes, and then hidden behind the box for when we want to know what it is later. Inspecting this glass's ass, and the color of this whiskey appears to be rather dark. I would say on a scale from not dark to, oh, that's friggin' dark, it is pretty dang dark. Judging by the color of this whiskey, I would slap maybe an age statement, if it were aged in new charred oak anyway, at about 10 to 14 years a 10 to 14 year visual age statement I'm giving it. If we give it a listen. It provides no other additional information. When it comes to the five senses, hearing pretty much sucks when it comes to tasting whiskey. But if it ever does have a deep dark secret or a deep bright secret it wants to tell me, then I am all ears. Still nothing. Going in for a nose on this blind pour. Well, <laughs> um, when I said based off of the I 10 to 14, I think we're bumping it up a bit. I think we're gonna increase the age on this whiskey by approximately two years. Based off of the first sniff, minimum 15. Yeah, this smells like an oaky treat that I am so excited to drink. Oh yeah, oh, oh, this is my, this is my jam. This is my style. This reminds me of the first time I tried Pappy 23 and it was like riding that old wooden roller coaster. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, smells so good. Cherry and chocolate and then like a vanilla extract cave. You were hiking in the chocolate cherry mountains, just trudging along with your 20 year old bourbon soaked oak stave walking stick. When suddenly the sun drops below the horizon and you're like, shit, <sighs> I didn't bring a fire starter or scary animal repellent. So you tucked yourself away into a dark cave. And as you tried to fall asleep, you realized that the stalagmites and stalactites were made out of delicious Madagascar vanilla. The next morning, you're awakened by a bat shitting on your face and you're like, ah! Thankfully, the bat's been eating the vanilla. You wander home, disrobe, and throw your clothes into the washing machine, but as you do, you catch a whiff of them. And that's what this bourbon will remind you of. Long story short, just smelling this whiskey is an adventure. All right, let's go in for a taste. One ounce Wednesday, down the hatch. Wow. 
wow. That is an outstanding pour. That is an outstanding pour. I don't know what this whiskey is, but it is a bourbon. It is high proof. It is extra old. It is extra friggin' phenomenal. That whiskey just gave me goosebumps in the middle of my areola. I've settled down from that. Now let's go back into the nose, regroup and give it another taste. Yeah, it smells good. Wow. That is awesome. Bangerang. It is so oily and oaky and like mildly fruity with a twist of bird's nest. This sweet charred finish. I can't remember what the hell I put in this box or what this could possibly be, but whatever it is, is 100% not gonna be findable. It is gonna be extremely allocated. It's gonna be extremely high priced. It's gonna be one of those bourbons that I'm like, oh, fantastic, super glad I can't get that ever. But lucky me, I do get to taste it on this one ounce Wednesday. This does everything for me that I want a whiskey to do. The nose is remarkable. The palate is absolutely out of this world. The texture of this whiskey as you're drinking it is optimal. It's at optimal texture. I would put this up there with some of the best whiskeys I've ever had. Is that saying a lot? Yes. If I were to revisit this at a later date, would I think other things of it? Maybe, possibly, probably, but today is one ounce Wednesday and today it receives a score blindly of 9.1, 9.1. I don't give out nines very often, very often at all. I think that this is remarkable today. On One Ounce Wednesday, we were drinking Oh, another sample from Bill Cavanaugh, it looks like it is. Okay, whoa. Oh, what? Okay. Wild Turkey Generations. That's a 2023 release, 120 0.8 proof. It says, there's no way. It says nine years on here. There's no way that this is a nine year bourbon. There has got to be older whiskey in there because that oak note on the nose and on the palate is like very prominent and so, so perfect. This is the first I've had of the generations. I really, really loved the um, single Rick House. It made my top five whiskeys of 2023. If I were to have gotten a Generations, I think that this is better than the single Rick House. I can't remember if I had the chance to get one or not, if one was offered up, but I think these were like extra expensive though, like almost $500, which is so much money. But still, that's one of the best whiskeys I've tasted in a long time that I haven't tasted before. Wild Turkey Generations is outstanding. What I said, 9.1, good grief, that's a score. That's the score and that's a one ounce Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, ring the notification bell, damn it, and leave a comment down below. If you've had the Generations and the single Rick House F, which one did you prefer? My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on spring cleaning. You know what? It's February and I've already like done some deep winter cleaning. But guess what? There's just so much stuff. There's so much stuff here. I don't know what to do. Boxes and bags and like children's shit. I might rent a U-Haul and bring it to the dump and drive it in. Just leave it there. Tell them I lost it. But if they find it, they can have all my shit. There's a lot of shit here. How do we acquire so much junk? That's the question. Why is there so much junk everywhere? I don't need that. It's an Elsa sleeping bag. Machine to help me do the splits? It's not for me. We don't need that. An extra microwave just sitting over there. Just an extra microwave. Just in case we really want a hot pocket and our microwave dies, we have a spare microwave. The more I look around, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, I think we could be on an episode of Hoarders. All I'm saying is this, throw stuff away. Because if I don't start getting rid of stuff, I have a feeling my wife is going to get rid of me.